You can create an A-B test for your videos on YouTube, comparing your original click-through rate on your original YouTube title versus any variation you can think of using the power of science. It's actually the power of TubeBuddy. Let me just show you in the tutorial what I'm talking about here. So this is a test I ran recently uh, where I wanted to test my original title on one of my videos, uh, how to use Zoom conference meeting, Zoom tutorial, versus a variation I came up with. I did some research and the keyword Zoom meeting was performing better. So I wanted to see, you know what, is including the word Zoom meeting at the beginning of my title going to improve performance? I thought it would, and it turns out it didn't. And so in this test, my original title actually performed 3% click-through rate, whereas the variation was only a 1.5. So the reason why I'm showing you this example is that you shouldn't just change your titles on your videos without doing science, without doing A-B tests, because you could be tanking the performance of your videos without even knowing it. TubeBuddy shows you the performance and it makes sure that you don't tank your videos. You get access to the TubeBuddy A-B testing tool by clicking the TubeBuddy icon up in the top right-hand corner of your Chrome browser. You scroll down the list of tools down to video A-B testing and then click create A-B test now. Now, if you're saying, I don't have TubeBuddy yet, that's cool. Link in the description below to my affiliate link, tubebuddy.com slash awallvs, A-W-A-L-L-V-S. I get credit if you download and purchase a paid version of the program. And this particular feature, A-B tests, is a paid feature for legend license holders. It is arguably the second most important feature in TubeBuddy, so they make you pay for it because it's so insanely powerful. Increasing your click-through rate is arguably the most important thing on YouTube. To create a title A-B test, go ahead and click the plus create A-B test button right here. It's gonna pull up this menu where it will give you the option to select either a recent upload, search for one of your uploads, or you can go look for a video that's sort of primed for an upgrade in terms of click-through rate. I recommend surfing for videos that may need an upgrade on your click-through rate by clicking the hyperlink here. This is gonna pull up your YouTube analytics. Go ahead and change the range of time up here in the top right to the previous 28 days. Then you're gonna scroll down and you wanna sort all of your content by impressions because it's gonna to be tough to get an increase in performance on any of these A-B tests if your video is not currently getting any impressions to test against. Sort by impressions, all right. So as you can see, this column right here shows your click-through rate. That's the thing we're trying to improve. You wanna get a more clickable title, right? The bold number here is your average across all the videos. So what you're doing is you're looking for videos in the list below that are below the average. As you can see, I'm kind of highlighting some of those here. And this one right here, I just highlighted at 2.8% is way below the average, but it is still getting some impressions. So what we will do is look at that as a prime target for A-B testing. Go ahead and copy the first part of the title, bring it over to the Create A-B Test tab we opened earlier, and paste the name of the video. And it should, as you hit Enter on the name of that content, pull up that video for you. There you go. Now, once you click it, it'll pull up this menu and give you options for two type of tests. One is a thumbnail click-through rate test. That's obviously not what we're doing today. Metadata test is what we're doing today. So go ahead and select Metadata Test. That will be how you do your title. You can either choose to run this for a certain number of days. I do not recommend doing that. I recommend running it until it's statistically relevant. So what this means is you can kind of set it and forget it with the A-B test that you're doing. And TubeBuddy will choose a statistically significant either original title or your variation and just automatically implement whichever one's better. Click that. <laughs> Let the computers decide which one's better. This is a ice cold numbers calculation, and I always start my tests ASAP. Hit continue. It'll offer you an option for thumbnail, continue, pass that. It'll offer you an option for tags, pass that. Hit continue. Here's the part where you will implement your title. Your original's over here, and create some sort of variation over here that you think might perform better. Just for this example, I'm going to remove the first keyword in my title. Perhaps that's decreasing the performance. You decide what you want to do for yours. Once you create your variation, you click continue, and it will offer you the option to test a description. Um, if you want to, you can, but I recommend just testing one element at a time. 
So click start test, that button is right behind me, click start test, and it'll say, are you sure? Then you say yes. Now, once you do this, you have the, you can come back to this particular menu through the AB testing dashboard and look at the performance of your test. If you screwed up or you want to stop your test, you click the stop test button right here and you can just manually stop at any time and choose whichever one you want. I don't want to run this test, so I'm going to choose the original and hit OK and it will stop uh, doing the test for me. And you, if you want to see all of your tests you're doing, you go to the AB tests menu right over here on the left hand side and you can click manage and it'll pull up all of your tests. And as you can see, here's the canceled test that I did at the top. And whenever you cancel the test or you stop it uh, and you never ran it, you can hit the X button to eliminate it from your dashboard. You'll be able to quickly see all tests that are currently in progress in the AB testing tool by clicking the in progress hyperlink up here. And it'll only show you the ones that are running right now if you want to go dive into them and you want to monitor their performance. Best of luck to all of you in your title AB tests. I hope your click-through rates go up and go have fun with some YouTube analytics and some science. Go science, my friends.